Is Old National Bank Corp, are you one of those banks and financial companies that have added jobs in 2023? Paint the picture for us of the employment picture out there right now. Uh, Mid-sized banks like Old National are very optimistic about what 2024 brings us. And I do think we will continue to add jobs selectively, uh, particularly when it comes to relationship management talent, continue to invest in infrastructure. I do think we're bucking the trend versus some of the biggest banks, which really shed jobs during 2023. All right, so... Um... <clears throat> One other thing I want to ask you about that was a really a big story last year was worker retention and also worker flexibility. So as you're adding jobs, and uh, according to you, you're adding diverse strategic hires, what's the compensation picture like, and how are you balancing work from home within the office? You know, it's clearly still a very competitive market. We see it every single day. But there are opportunities for us to continue to add to our team and we're having great success, particularly at banks our size, where we just make a bigger impact in our communities and are a little bit closer to our clients. Um, and so we'll, we'll continue to do that uh, throughout the year, even though it might cost us a little bit more. And uh, despite uh, those increased costs, Wall Street has been very receptive to the opportunity to continue to grow revenue uh, for a bank like Old National. So we have seen some of the bigger banks lay people off. Does that create a, a pool of, of better talent for you? Are you able to get some of those people to work at your bank? You said it uh, well, Frank. Yes, that is creating great opportunity for banks like Old National to continue to grow, uh, particularly in those largest metropolitan markets where they continue to shed you know, thousands of jobs. And you are in one of those large metropolitan markets, the Chicago area. So I want to ask you, I know you have, you have earnings coming out in just a few weeks. I know you can't give us any read on the results, but I do have to ask you, after a year of disruption, uh, we've seen a lot of pressure on commercial real estate, um, forecasts coming out for more defaults when it comes to commercial real estate, and, of course, the disruption following SVB. How does that impact hiring when it comes to a regional bank like yours? Well, I do think, you know, revenue um, is going to be a little bit softer than it was, uh, just given the inverted yield curve you just showed. Um, that's going to create some challenges, and we're just going to have to watch our expenses as an industry uh, relative to our ability to grow revenue. Um, so, so that might not allow us to hire as many people as we would want to hire uh, in a normal year. But nonetheless, I do. I am optimistic that um, you know we will have a relative soft landing, and, and that banks will continue to operate pretty much business as usual uh, in 2024, despite what are you know uh, uh, varying projections or uncertain uh, projections out there. So again, I'm not asking you to give us a read on your results. That's coming up in a few weeks. But another thing that I would imagine impacts it is the, uh, the housing market. As we see rates continue to decline, um, what does that mean for your business more generally? And do you have to hire more people in that area? You know, since we didn't really lay anybody off in that area, we really maintained our staffing levels despite volumes being down uh, during the last year. Um, I, I don't anticipate us needing to hire people. Now, I am optimistic that the housing market will start to recover. Uh, I was actually just with some team members uh, you know, uh, right before the holidays, and, and they were very optimistic that it's going to create, uh, people are getting used to this level of interest rates, and I think it's going to create some new, um, I, I, people are, people have been sitting on the sidelines for quite some time now, and I think that's going to create an opportunity for more demand uh, given, given the new year here. One last question. I imagine a lot of your employees are asking you the same question. As we see the emergence of artificial intelligence, how does that impact or change your hiring needs and your worker needs in your offices? I think that's going to create um, uh, an opportunity for us to get more efficient uh, in the back room. I, I really do. And I think that's going to help us. I mean, today, the reality is it's pretty difficult to go off and staff our back room. As, as, as much desire as we want to hire new people, uh, it is still difficult. And that's the common theme I continue to hear across the Midwest from a lot of our, our, our customers is it's hard to hire people. So I think these automation tools will actually help us, um, you know, reduce that need uh, to hire people in those, in those middle area or, or backroom support positions. And so I, I'm hopeful that we can deploy that as an industry, uh, make the client experience better and, and just be more efficient with what we do.